an unspecified amount of time later in the sea of, uh, somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. Sosuke seems to be having some trouble out there. Do you think he'll be able to carry out the mission fully? He knows his orders, Captain Testarossa. I think he's doing rather well. That last episode was very humorous in my opinion, though he could use some work on provoking other schoolmates. Um, I was referring to his completion of the mission objective, not providing comic relief for the audience. Oh, in that case, he's doing a horrendous job. Right. An unspecified amount of time later, in a classroom. Whoa, the animation noticeably improved. This must be a major plot point. Okay, maybe not. So, what did you do? I thought the terrorists were attacking because of the sudden rise in frame rate. Ha! If you'd read the novel, you would have known that scene never even existed. Gonzo wrote it in for the anime. As a matter of fact, a lot of these next few episodes are either rewritten or added in. So when will something happen for real? Well, I'm not one to spoil books for people, but nobody dies. Unlike in Harry Potter, where Diggory... Okay, Siri... okay, I get it. I'll just make sure to keep an eye out on anything remotely suspicious. What's, What's this? this? Increase in animation quality? Could it be a hoax again? Or is this for real? Oops! False alarm! Crap! Can't! Stop! Running! I'm gonna pull a- LEROY God damn it, Leroy! An unspecified amount of time later, in an unspecified location. Possibly Russia. Ugh, is it time for my scene? Do I get to hear vaguely homoerotic mantras at the top of my lungs? Yeah, I think this is your sinister break from comedic tone of episode. The insane stuff comes little later. Oh, man. Well, let's see here. Bridge. Winter moonlight. Uh, still frames. Aha! This is the foreshadowing scene. You screwed it all up! You're supposed to start with, oh, chili, isn't it? And then make a deal, but you screwed it up. Oh, no, you killed my father, you took his sword. Kill me, do it, it's not a tumor. Get to the chopper. Bang, bang. Where did you get the invisible bullets? The abridged anti awesomeness alliance was having a three for one sale. Bam, you quadruple A. Well. Now that I've established my character to the audience, uh, how'd you like to order some of our deluxe package abduction services? What's so special about Blue Hair High School Girl? It's black hair. And I believe she is one of the whispered you were looking for. Whispered? Oh, uh, the audience isn't supposed to know yet. Uh, you better cut to the next scene. Wait! Wait just one goddamn minute. I almost forgot. My dead baby joke for the episode. Uh, okay, okay. I got a good one. What do you get when you put a dead baby in a blender? Uh, hold on. I'll tell you in just a second. An unspecified amount of time later, in a generic American fast food chain. So, like, she said, like, oh my god, like, oh my god, like, oh my gosh. Hey, wait a minute. What is she doing? Like, huh? Hey, you forgot your bag, Mr. Creepy Guy. That's right. Bring me my suitcase. I'll reward you with some popsicles back in my apartment. Hmm. Hmm. Better look next time. Good thing she didn't look inside the suitcase. It is heavily implied that I am groping you. Hehe. <laughs> Sosuke is gonna need a little training from the love machine. An unspecified amount of beatings later, in a different high school classroom. Bees and carrots, bees and carrots! And the final class trip assignment, Sosuke Sagara on garbage duty! Damn! <laughs> Too bad this trip isn't for another two episodes! <laughs> Wait, what? An unspecified time later, on a train. God damn it! Why is this guy following me? Excuse me, what are you reading? Soccer practice. Right, so you're following me in other words. No, I'm reading about my soccer practice. I know you're following me, and I want an explanation right now. Hmm. Ahem. Up here, Sosuke. Sorry, 
I was just stalling. This episode should run out of time soon. Damn you, shut <laughs> Hey there, everybody. I got an answer for ya. Taco filling. Now that's not all. As a preemptive against the complaints of scene emissions, the creators of FMP Abridged have seen fit to include a montage of the episode that you just watched. So please enjoy our first edition of Full Metal Montage. <laughs> 